We got more Christmas. These little guys are cute. Home, home co. I always get corrected when I say homco. It's home co. Even though it's spelled homco. It's spelled homco. If they wanted it to be home co, why didn't they put the E in there? found a little thrift store on the side of the road. I think we're down in Clearwater right now. Oh, it's the Hope Thrift Store. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out, see if they got anything good. Let's go. Ooh, here's their sales. Christmas in July. New package shoes, infants and books. None of that excites me. Oh, good dolka. What goodies can we find? What are these for like a felt board or something? Yeah, it looks like it. A little craft, lots of craft stuff. Lots of craft stuff. Ooh, kind of need that. What'd you find? Oh, it's that textured. Yeah. Kind of coming apart. Oh yeah. Oh, this is interesting. This is actually a well done looking piece. Not very well framed, but we got glare. Here we go. That's actually, somebody really knows how to draw a face. Like, and it is signed. That's, that's interesting. Whoa, box. Hmm. Oh, I love I like this frame. I like this frame. It's a Hobby Lobby piece. There's lots of Hobby Lobby stuff. What do you see? Oh, that is... I like that. That is interesting. If I had the right colors in my house... Ooh. We, might, we might find some vintage Tupperware here. This looks like Tupperware. This was Grove. Always look for the little number. There's always a little number on the bottom of the Tupperware. I thought I said, it says Tupperware, right? Did, am I seeing things? Maybe it's not Tupperware and I'm seeing things. Nope, you know what? It's not Tupperware. I'm seeing things. It's a knockoff. But the Tupperware has numbers so that you can match the lids and you can look up and know exactly what piece it is. All right, nothing exciting here. These are some, these are cute. Look at these little coffee, espresso kind of looking thing. You can tell I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't know what the technical term is. Demitasse. Dem is it Demitasse for coffee? I thought that was for tea. No, Demitasse is for ca cappuccinos. Oh, is it for, oh, for cappuccino. Okay, so they're cappuccino. Let's just call them, cappuccino sounds way more bougie. I don't know, Demitasse is like a little bougie too. It's all good. All right. Oh, it's another yeah, another kitty cat mug. Meow. Let's see what else we got here. Nothing too exciting. These are probably vintage. Do you? You know, you'd have to go in and find this stem. That's when you're identifying this glassware. The stem is your key, because that's how you determine the different, no matter what the top is, this is gonna be the same style for that particular company and pattern. So that's your key. These are kind of interesting glasses. And then that's all just plastic down there and coffee makers. Ooh, fishies. I like that fishy. Very cool. It's a very nicely laid out little store. Well, it's not that little. It's just everything's very organized. Oh, she's a bell. And their prices are definitely right. Oh, it's a little puzzle box. Ooh. 
It's on, I don't know what's on the side of there, though. I don't know. That one doesn't excite me. This is cute. Little trip it. Uncle Bob's boat rental. I had an Uncle Bob. That's cute. See what else is on the little shelves. She's cute. She looks leftinish, but I don't think she is. See what else we got. What'd you find? Oh, it's a little train wall hanging metal sexton. Yeah. We used to have a whole set of those. They make cars and trains and ships and Kind of cute. Angels. Is that a trinket box or a candle? Oh, it looks like it might be a warmer kind of a thing. I don't know who makes that one. Let's see, a dollar fifty. That is a great price. Brazil. I don't. I don't want to buy it, but that's a great price. Brazil chickens. Oh yeah, it's a classic Brazil kind of iridescence. They make a lot of these. Pretty little plate. That looks hand painted. For a dollar fifty. Like if I was home, I would probably buy that. Because it's pretty. It's nicely done. Let's see if there's anything in the vase. Oh, this is kind of a neat vase. Kinda like it. I mean it's nothing, yeah, it's like a home goods kind of a vase, but it's got a nice look to it. Alright. See what's over here. Some lights, some shades. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, that's Cracker cute. Barrel. Cracker Barrel. I buy a lot of stuff at Cracker Barrel. I hate to admit that, but they do get some really super cute stuff. They really do. We saw our we have a we have a horse bathroom, of course, and it all came from Cracker Barrel. All right. He is cute. Little Nesco bunny. And in the forest, there was a bear. Okay. That's a mama with three babies. It's kind of cute, actually. And then there's a Mickey Mouse clock, which, if I lived here, I would probably pick up. Because, well, it's 12.50. I'd have to, I'd look it up. So. Instead of doing a recap on this video because I'm really not buying much, I'm just gonna add these values in of some of the stuff that I'm seeing as I go along. You will see them. I know there's a glare there, but this is a really nice print that I'm trying. Let's see. It is Waterfowling Hotspots Canada Geese at Caratuck Sound by David A. Mass. Like that's a nice print. Nice, nice print. Here's another one. Window to the world. Looks like it's some kind of a commemorative thing, but this is, is this signed and numbered? Creative Memories from Los Cabos, Mexico. Certificate of Preservation. That's for $8. I mean, whew. that's a the art itself, I probably would take the art out of here and sell the art if I were to get that. Let's see what else they have here. Got some birds, parrots, kind of matching. It's interesting. That's, ooh, that one's nice too. Look at that owl. Hmm, that's nice. Hmm. Got a mannequin torso. All right. Hmm. Yeah. These, I'm told, are very good for cleaning glass, although I have not tried it myself. I tend to just try the uh, white vinegar. But... Yeah. Need a keychain, anybody? Let's see. There's like little stuff in every aisle, like, you know, a wedding 
a wedding glass dog ornament. Probably something I would pick up if I was home. Dog toys. Oh, I just bought my grand kitty one of these. I gotta tell ya. Let's see if he, oh, he's dead. Anyway, he flops and I did. I just bought Dozer one of these and I think she said that Daisy plays with it. The puppy plays with it more than the cat plays with it. So It wasn't that expensive. It's not like something you want to be looking for because I think it was only like 10 bucks on Amazon. So I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you to be on the lookout for it. I was just telling a story. Just telling a little story. Ooh, the toys, the games. How cute is that? Like the little airplane like goes along the track. That's really cute. And then there's shark, shark track. We've got an iguana. Are you a little My Little Pony? Or are you a knockoff My Little Pony? I think you're a knockoff My Little Pony. You are. Oh. That is a sad looking lobster. Okay. He's a sad lobster. All right. A little bit of Christmas stuff. I see Spider-Man. What's Spider-Man? Oh, Spider-Man is just a big boot. That's what Spider-Man is. Ooh, Connects. I remember when Noah was into Connects. I spent a lot of money on Connects because Noah was into Connects. Brins, limited edition from 1986. She plays when Irish eyes are smiling. Oh, you're kind of cute. What do you do? You do something. You make nice sounds. Okay. Don't see. Oh. No, Rachel does not need another chicken. She's good with the chickens that she has. You know, three's a crowd. If I brought one more chicken, that would that could potentially cause problems between Chance and uh, San Diego. I'm just saying. So we won't do that. This. That is a cute print. Just a very cute print. I think that's a curtain. I do you think that's a curtain? Well, we got a little reading area here. That's very cute. Let's see if there's anything along here. You could have Jesus on your blanket. Or, or Shopkins. You could have Shopkins too. Your choice, Jesus or Shopkins. We got more Christmas. These little guys are cute. Home, home Co. I always get corrected when I say Homco. It's Home Co. Even though it's spelled Homco. It's spelled Homco. If they wanted it to be Home Co, why didn't they put the E in there? All right. Oh, look at these guys. I just got a thing for these little bristle woodland creatures. You may have noticed because I keep picking them up. All right. That's about it. I just have to come over here and peek. Look at their silk flowers. Look at all their like, like why can't my stores have this? Like the, the geraniums. I love the geraniums. Very nice little layout of flowers. When a store has a furniture section, you always need to kind of tootle through it so that, you know, when they put little accent pieces out on the table and stuff, pillows, you want to kind of look around and see if there's anything for resale. Ooh, like fake bread. They're probably not selling this. It's probably not for sale. But you know me, I love the fake bread. I love fake bread. You're welcome. You guys have a good evening. I like this basket too. I do like that basket. 
I did pick up a few jewelry pieces, which if you come on over and visit one of my live sales, ooh, did I just find, oh no, this is, okay, this is not the same. This is just fuzzy. This is not actually sugared or beaded. It's just got fuzz on it. That's not the kind I'm talking about when I say pick up the sugared fruit, just saying. Um, come on over to my live sales on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific time. That's where I sell the jewelry and other fun stuff. And uh, I can show you more what I got. All right, I think we're gonna check out and uh, go do something else. Kind of wondering if my luggage is gonna make it on the plane. I was just sitting there with it. Let's hope. Let's hope it makes it on. Yay! They're making it onto the plane. Yay! 